This is a story. A story of deceit. A story of deceit that would change the fate of man forever. Billions and billions and billions of years ago, humans were born. They were born with white fangs called teeth. Look at all your teeth growing in. Can I see? To feed the body, humans needed to eat food. Food which needed to be chewed by the white fangs to enter the body. You see, humans have been cleaning teeth for thousands of years, dating all the way back to 3500 because... The Greeks and Romans used toothpicks to clean the crevasses, but it wasn't enough. The origins of a toothbrush started in China in the 7th century. The bristles were made of hog hair. But why hogs? Because of the harsh climate the hogs lived in, the hair was coarse. Coarse, but hard. These hog hair bristles were inserted into bamboo and bones. It looked like a toothbrush. It felt like a toothbrush. But it wasn't a toothbrush. Let me finish my point. Almost 1,000 years later, the Europeans started using the toothbrush. The Europeans were mainly using rags to clean their tooths, but they were also importing toothbrushes from China until the 19th century. The US introduced the toothbrushes. But they improved these bristles from hog hair. They were using Siberian hog hairs. Then finally, in 1938, they replaced the hog hairs with nylon bristles to become what is known today as the toothbrush. But this toothbrush was a lie. Because humans are born with 32 teeth, which makes it impossible to make one toothbrush strong enough, fast enough, to brush all the teeth. But for some reason, a reason unknown to man, they called it a toothbrush. But it should have been called a toothbrush. What? I'm Crispy Shorts, and welcome to my channel. Dude, keep going. Hi, I'm Crispy Shorts, and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna look into the teeth brush, and why is it called a toothbrush? You have so many teeth, yet so many bristles. Let's go get some medically trained advice by someone who was trained to know about this stuff. So I took a walk, 75 blocks north, to the most famous tooth doctor in New York City. Right Dr. Lee Goss, who is also Floyd Mayweather's dentist, agreed to an interview. Dr. Lee Goss is creating the perfect piece for Saturday night, one that helps both Mayweather's breathing and swagger. Doc, thanks for the uh, time, my man. Appreciate it. Doing? Good, I'm doing good. So, um, how many teeth do humans have? Humans have 32 teeth, and that's including the wisdom teeth. Gotcha. So what do they use to clean their teeth? Well, most people are going to use a toothbrush. Aha. Why, then, is it not called a teeth brush? You see what I'm saying? You got 32 teeth. You got one device to do it. It's not for one tooth. It's for 32 teeth. So why isn't it called a teeth brush? I see what you're asking, but... Right? That's not really a fair question because, like, if you need to get shoes, you don't really try and go to, like, Feet Locker or, you know, football players don't wear shoulders pads. Nobody's ever said, I need to go buy a new pair of eyes glasses. Mm. Teeth need individual love. Damn it. If we call it a teeth brush, it'll be, like, cheap, almost like taking a trip to Walmarts. I couldn't disagree with you more, Doc. So I actually, I'm actually uh, creating a petition. I'm gonna lobby it on uh, Capitol Hill and I'm gonna try to get a change to teeth brush. So if you'll just support me. I'm not signing that. I'm not signing that. Okay. Um, thank you for your time. Why was Dr. Lee Goss refusing to work with me? Who was it that he was protecting? The Tooth Fairy. Who is she? Where is she from? 
The origins of this mythical creature date back to 1908 in Northern Europe. There was a tradition called Tante Fe, or the Tooth Fee, which was paid to a child when they lost their first teeth. But why? What are you two doing? It's in a coordinated conspiracy by the children to collect tax-free dollars in order to bring down the U.S. economy. Rumors are now surfacing that the Tooth Fairy has been lobbying Congress for years, paying billions and billions of laundered hush money to keep the same name, Teeth Brushes, out of the Webster Dictionary. As she sees it, a simple name change could topple her entire empire. So I spoke to a close friend of the Tooth Fairy who chose to remain anonymous. He had a different take on things. Yeah, the Tooth Fairy and I were childhood friends. People were always poking fun at her, calling her the Teeth Fairy. She didn't like that. She vowed to spend her family fortune giving kids money for their loose teeth. In return, the children would forever call it the Toothbrush in her honor. The story checks out. But was there something bigger at play? Did the big pharmaceutical companies create the Tooth Fairy so that consumers would replace their teeth brushes at the recommended amount of every three months? Wait, is it Dwayne or Reed is the conspirator? Dude, it's just the name of the story. Likely story. What are you doing? I thought it was production value. What if I told you that I've been using the same toothbrush for over a year? Because the current toothbrushes can cost up to seven dollars and sixty-one cents. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You have a good day. Do you think it should be called a teeth brush? Yes. I agree. What if I told you the answer was right in front of us? A recent audit of the Tooth Fairy's fortune shows a billion dollar donation to a shady charity. So I dug around a bit and found out this charity is owned by none other than the oral mega giant Crest. Could it be that the Tooth Fairy is cornering the market on toothbrushes for personal gain? An all time high today. 8,300 US dollars. The answer is no. I've been thinking a lot about my 22nd interview with Dr. Lee Gauze, and my research has led me nowhere other than spending 50 hours to make this video. This is my conclusion. No one knows who exactly named the teeth brush the toothbrush, but I imagine it's called a toothbrush for the same reason that a milk carton isn't called a milk's carton, and a pea soup isn't called a pea's soup. But there seems to be a general pattern in English for making a compound names like this. Can you think of a single such name which refers to multiple things with a plural noun? The word is made up of two nouns, tooth and brush. Thus, it's a compound noun. But the two words are written together. The first word tooth describes the second word brush, and it gives a character to the second word. So, it's called a toothbrush, just because. Thank you for watching. If you feel that toothbrush should be considered a teeth brush, click the thumbs up button. If you disagree, explain why in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe. How many teeth do humans have? Teeth have... How many teeth do they have? <laughs>